What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and today Apple released iOS 10.0.2 to the public. So this is after 10.1 dropped in the beta form, and this is the update that we've all been waiting for. So this is the one that comes with the fixes for anyone troubled by any of the major bugs, including the lightning headphones bug that actually broke news and Apple said they would patch it. So this is the official patch. Like always, I just wanna cover what's new, what's different in this update and everything you need to know. So the actual update is very, very minor. I mean, it's a very small size, and if you jump into the about page it'll look just like that 10.0.2 so the actual update what does it fix like i said the very main issue that this patches is the one with the volume bug issue on the lightning headphones so some people would plug them in and either you would not get any on display controls for the music on your lock screen or the headphones would work for you know like five minutes and then they would stop working the buttons just you know don't work anymore so it was an intermittent issue on and off and now Apple has fixed it. And because the lightning headphones are much more advanced versus 3.5 millimeter headphones, you're gonna see like glitches and bugs. So that's why Apple pushed this out. And there are a couple other fixes. So one resolves an issue that caused photos to quit for some users, one turning on iCloud photo library and fixes an issue that prevented enabling some app extensions. Now, before updating, I had 111.54 available. So I just wanna check after .94. So I gained half a gigabyte after updating. Cool. Now it really bothers me that we have a brand new iPhone, but we don't have any new wallpapers. And that's what I just don't understand. Apple keeps taking away more wallpapers than they're adding to them. And not cool, not cool Apple. Bring all of them back. Every single one that ever existed, that would be cool. So other than those minor bug fixes, you're really not gonna see much in terms of features, if anything at all, in this new iOS update. But I wanted to go beyond that and see if there's any difference in speed. So iOS 10.1 doesn't really seem to bring any speed differences. How about this? I'm gonna go ahead and run a Geekbench and see if there's any difference. And I just wanna say, I'm really, really excited for iOS 10.1. I mean, if you don't have any other device like a 7, it really doesn't matter. But if you have a 7 Plus, oh man, that portrait mode, like I posted the video yesterday, holy crap, it blew me away. My friend was just jaw dropped sitting there looking at the pictures we took. Like he's a, he's a photographer, so he'll actually take pictures with the DSLR and it'll have the bokeh effect and everything. And it had the same effect on the iPhone. It was incredible. So I just want to say I cannot wait. And my personal 7 Plus isn't even coming until November because I got the Jet Black 256 gigabytes and it's not gonna come for a while. So um, I'm really, really excited for that. I can't even use my Apple Watch Series 2 until I get it, so man. And the one last thing I wanted to say is I'm gonna have all the reviews and comparisons out very, very soon. I'm working on one today, so if you guys were waiting on those, I'll have those out very soon. And here's the results of the Geekbench I ran. Geekbench 4, by the way, 3479 and 56. 57. I just I just want to take a moment and say that is incredible. Those scores are through the roof. Wow. So on the last iOS 10.0.1, it was 34.37 and 54.41. So a little bit of a difference there actually. Actually a good amount of difference, huh? So the multi-core score did go up by about 200 points. So I'm not sure if that's better optimization, but on the iPhone 7 Plus, I noticed that iOS 10 isn't very well optimized. It's like it was built for the iPhone 6S and below and then just slightly tacked on to the 7 Plus. It wasn't fully optimized. So as iOS 10 goes on, we probably will be seeing little changes here and there. It'll become smoother and just better in little ways. But for now, there it is, iOS 10.0.2. Little update to fix some woes you may have had with the Lightning port. It's safe to update. As far as the jailbreak goes, really, it's been jailbroken. Are we gonna see one? Most likely not, so I can't really say whether you should stay or go to the newest firmware. That's really up to you guys. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy this update. Peace.